I'm Stuart Philip Kaufman. I'm the fencing master at the Marin Fencing Academy in San Rafael, Marin County, California. I'm going to talk to you about how fencing is scored in the Olympics. All this fencing in the Olympics is done electronically ever since 1936 with the invention of the first electric scoring machine. Before that, they used to have the two fencers, a referee or judge, and then two fencers on either side of the two fencers competing. So you'd have these four guys following the two fencers up and down the strip with the one referee in the middle waiting for their hands to go up to call touches. Well, we don't have to worry about that now. Now it's all done electrically. The sword has a spring-loaded tip and a wire that runs through the sword. The fencer has a cord that goes through their jacket, comes out the hole in the glove, plugs into the sword, and then the back part plugs into a reel on the floor and as they move out front and back, the cable comes out and lets them uh, move without any restriction. So when a touch is made uh, to the uh, opponent's body, a light uh, in foil, it'll be a colored light if it hits on the torso, front or back, and a white light if it hits an off-target area. In foil uh, and epi, uh, anywhere that they hit from head to toe, you'll get a colored light as the whole body's target. And with saber, it only goes off when they hit the vest, which covers everything from the waist up, both arms, and then the mask, which is attached to the vest um, on, the, on the torso with a clip and a, a wire. So when you make touches, it'll record touches as fast as the 35th of a second apart. And uh, the strip, the fencing strip you're on is also grounded out, so anything on the ground won't go off, only when they hit the other opponent. 